Hey there, Smitty in here, and welcome back to Morrowind. The last time we learned a little bit more about the trials needed to become the Nereverine. We also did a little bit of work on the questline about Manamarco, the King of Worms. But just like last time after we finished the quest, Mr. What's-His-Name was like, come back in a few days and I'll give you another quest. So yeah, we need to wait for that to continue on to continue a little bit more. Today, we are going to continue the main quest. We need to head to Fort Buckmouth, which is outside of Aldrun, and talk to Raysapulia. Sounds easy enough. And then we need to infiltrate a sixth house base and kill a high priest of House Dagath, which might be a little harder. So, first of all, let's head to Fort Buckmouth after my game freezes. There we go. Travel to Atherton. Again, I could have just recalled here, but... I gotta stimulate the local economy by paying the fast travel people. Is it ever not a dust storm here? Okay, so Fort Buckmouth is right right over there. Rip many caps. I cannot see shit. Thankfully, I have turned up the brightness in OBS, so maybe you can also not see shit, but slightly better than me. There's still a handful of factions I haven't joined, like the Imperial Legion and the Imperial Cult. And the other one, the uh, Tribunal Temple. A lot of... A lot of factions I can still join. So, I've got this fancy new ring now. Which restores my fatigue over time and also fortifies my athletics is very nice for when I'm running across the map and don't want to rest for two hours just to restore my fatigue. Glory and <laughs> Hello, have you seen whoever I'm supposed to be talking to? Anytime you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. I assume she's like inside. I don't want to be out here anymore. Ah, uh, much better. Zenithar's fortune to you. Hello. Uh, What's ah, this about? That's you. I'm Rayusa Palilia, champion of the Legion Garrison here at Buckmoth Legion Fort, and you're Sharia Lightfoot. Kaius Casada sent you, didn't he? Kaius says you're the one to handle the six house base near Garmnar Mok. Yes, that's me. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with corpus disease, and out of his wits. In his ravings, he spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Ulunibi. It's not on our maps. Try asking locals in Narmok. They fought with cultists and disfigured man-beasts. Corpus monsters, I think. They fled the attackers and got lost in the caves. Then they ran into a half-man creature called Dagath Garrus. This Dagath Garrus slew the rest of the patrol, but spared the one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared so he might tell others that the sleeper awakes, and the sixth house has risen, and Dagathur is lord, and I am his priest, and all will be one with him in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him, and he didn't respond to questions, just kept rambling on like a madman until he died. More about Corpus. I've heard of Corpus disease before, but never seen it. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered with growths. His bones twisted and lost their shape. He spoke to himself as if in a dream. He didn't recognize him at first, except for his clothing and his armor. The Fort Chaplain tried spells and potions, but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after he reached the fort. Didn't realize how fast Corpus kills. It sure wasn't pretty. The troops seemed shaken. I'm a little worried myself, to tell the truth. So where's Narmak? Narmok is an island fishing village on the Bitter Coast, roughly west of Caldera in Aldrun. Here, let me mark it on your map. There's no marked route from Narmok. 
to Narn Mock from Aldrin. It's no easy trip. Our patrols take the Belmora Road at the nicest Belmora Aldrin side post. Go south and immediately west on a side road to Draylene Phelan's cottage. And head cross country west to the coast with the old Dunmer stronghold at Andis Rith as a landmark. With the coast turned south. Follow the coast, wading around headlands when necessary. Pass a shipwreck when the coast levels out and turns from barren rock to green swamp here in the bitter coast region. Keep south with the water on your left until you see Narmak, an island just off the coast. There's a crude plank bridge through some rocks to the island itself. It's a rough place, popular with adventurers, smugglers, and outlaws, but maybe someone in Narmak can tell you how to find the Ilun Beeski Caverns. That's a hell of a... That is a hell of a description on how to get there. So the dead trooper called the Sea Caverns where he found the Sixth House base. It's not on our maps, and no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Narmak can tell you where to find it, or you may have to search for it yourself. Belmar Road, the nice spot. Let's go south and west. Did she put it on the map? Yeah. I mean, I, can't I just head this way and, like, levitate over some mountains? That seems much easier than doing whatever the fuck she told, told me to do. It's gonna head due west. And if I'm no longer able to continue moving, all I have levitate spells. What do I look like? Some kind of peasant who can't fly? I'm gonna start doing a little bit of jumping from place to place. Just enough to get my. Uh, get a little bit of acrobatics grinding. Tiny amount of acrobatics. Of course, when my fatigue's low, I'll stop doing it so let it recover a bit. This ring is nice, I like it. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Shari Lightfoot. I'm Golgoralleth and Buoyant Armager. Welcome to Aldrin. What can I do for you? Any rumors? I heard Bolin Venom was having an affair with the wife of one of the other Counts of Zuthu. Scandalous. Currently not interested, but good to know for the future. I hate these dust storms. I cannot fucking see. Directions seemed rather complicated when I can instead just do this, and this seems like a st pretty straight shot. Maybe like a little off road that I need to do. Hello. You. You will speak with me now, or you shall feel the bite of my axe. This enchantment wears off. Hyson Deep Raid will shed some blood. Kind of enchantment. I, a foul witch, has given me some enchanted disease, leaving me rooted to the spot. She called it Witch Weather, Foul temper Temptress. I had been her escort. She was a big woman, friendly, you know. Then the damned witch ensorcelled me, leaving me at this spot, nearly naked to display my shame to the world. The sin deep breed is not accustomed to being mocked, stranger. I shall paint the ground with her entrails. Uh, I guess I can find you a potion that will cure your paralysis. You have honor, Sharia Lightfoot. I'm a man of standing among my people. My father and my father's father and his father before him have had songs sung of their deeds, and I shall be no different. I distrust potions in general, but bring me one from a reputable alchemist. Release me from this bondage, and I will reward you. I shall cleave that whore in twain. Uh, I don't know if I have, like, store-bought ones. No. Yeah, I've got the ones that I made that are much better than store-bought ones, because they weigh a lot less. But this guy doesn't care. Do I have a spell that can cure him? I'm 
pretty sure I have a cure common disease on another spell. Or do I not? Got a cure blight disease on target. I have some scrolls that can do it. Well, I'll leave you to that and come back later. Listen, bud, if you didn't want to get killed, you shouldn't have attacked me. Sounds don't know what they're getting into. I understand that they can't take player made potions because player made potions can have all sorts of random other side effects and stuff to them. But still, just take my cure disease potion, my guy. Also, cure. It's not a disease, it's a paralysis spell? I don't know why I'm giving him a cure disease potion. I'm beginning to think that this is the way that she wanted me to go, she just described it very poorly. Coast. There's a building here. It's probably a mine. Yeah, it's a mine. Don't kill the Kwama. Who is in combat with me? I'm in combat with something. What am I in combat with? Oh. Well, there's still combat music playing, so I'm still in combat with something else. I'll just keep running then, and hopefully the combat music stops. At some point. I never went here, did I? Oh, this is new. And my block has increased, which increased my strength. So here we have another Propleon Chamber. At some point I need to finish this Propleon quest. Unlock all these teleportation chambers. It's not a very useful form of fast travel in my opinion, unless you're playing a playthrough where you can't use normal fast travel like a vampire or something. But it's still neat to have. Someone has me. Oh, there's bad men on top of here. Bad men and ladies. Um, hold up, I'm just gonna shoot you a little. Uh, my bones being shot.
Alright, I have slain these people. Let's see if they got any good loot. These guys have a whole lot of nothing. gotta take all the mushrooms so I can level my alchemy more. How will I live with myself if I do not have over a hundred alchemy by the end of the game? Close to Narmok, it's over there apparently. And someone there can give us directions to the six house base that we're looking for. was the thing that it was attacking me, but it was not. It was this mud crab. Or this mud crab. These mud crabs killed a guar. That's uh quite impressive. Kill your kid too. I have killed a breeding netch. Oh right, this is for a quest that uh I'm supposed to get in Narmok to kill a couple of breeding netch. That's why they were hostile. Illinibi Caverns, that's what they call the old sea cave up on the north end of the island, right on Kartek Point. Don't poke around in there, it's a convenient smuggler's hole and they might not welcome visitors. Well, I'm gonna go poke around in there and you can't stop me. North end of the island, you say. Actually, while I'm in the area, I need to find who wants me to kill those breeding nets and maybe get like a reward from them. It's someone in Gnarmok, I'm pretty sure. Someone in the manor, maybe? Hello. 
why do you hate me? Are you a member of the Kimona Tong? Probably. Yeah, I guess these are Kimona Tong people. But he's all locked up for the night. Smugglers working out of Sharnball lost their contact in Belmora. I hear they're now working with someone in Eldrun. What is this about? I don't remember who I need to talk to for the breeding Nech quest, so I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Hey, there's the, um, Dwemer Ruin that I was looking for. Wait, what just happened? Someone tried to talk to me. Braylon, open this door at once. Where's my ship? You can't hide in there forever. Wait, Bosmer, you look like someone who knows how to open your doors without a key. Open this door for me and I'll pay you for it. Look in Bosmer, I need to talk to Braylon. We have important business to discuss. Go ahead. I don't appreciate him saying that I look like the kind of person who can open a door without a key. I mean, he's right, but I don't appreciate it. Yeah, sure, I'll let you in. Where is it, Braylon? What happened to my boat? I was informed that my boat has yet again not arrived in Nysus. I thought I made it clear last time that something like this may never happen again in the future. The reputation of my business is ruined because of your incompetence. But if the Imperial Legion stops doing business with us, so what happened? Did it sink? Did your men steal it? Talk to me, Braylon. Oh, oh, I don't know what happened, Drone. You have to believe me. My boats don't sink, nor do I steal. I'm a man of my honor, and so are my men. I'll start with the construction of a new boat as soon as I can. By Azura, if my men still haven't arrived at Nysus, something must have happened to them. Maybe they're stuck and need help. You, Bosmer, I need you to find my men. Okay, so someone took a boat to Nysus and went missing, so they're probably somewhere in this general vicinity. That's something that I'm going to do later. Not in the mood for a wild goose chase at the moment. Who's in combat with me now? I'm sick of being in combat with things that I can't see. this drow that I'm in combat with. Apparently. Excitingly, I can now see all four materials on a alchemy ingredient without having to boost first, which is nice. Speaking of which, I forgot to put away my alchemy robes after I finished alchemizing a couple of videos ago. So someone said north end of the island and someone said west side of the island, so I don't know who to believe. I'm going north first. And these drow see you a mile away. Now see, I can't loot him because he's under the water. That's annoying, because they have some rare shit. Rare alchemy. Yeah, like wax and shells and all that good stuff. Eluna B, Carcass of the Saint. Let's rest up and head inside. Do a little bit of sneaking. This place looks uh, fancier than I remember. And 
my frame rate looks uh, lower than I remember. I love what you've done with the place, Gareth. I don't love what you've done with my frame rate, but hopefully it'll get better the deeper I go into the dungeon. can't jump while sneaking, that's fair, but also rude. Yeah, this place is much larger than I remember. I do love that the main quest areas have been expanded a bit to make them more interesting. Uh, are you hostile? You look just like a naked man. <laughs> he is hostile. It's good to know. This guy is a wizard, which is bad for me because that is my weakness. I was hoping to kill him without having to use a restore health potion, but apparently that's not going to work. Okay, I've killed the Ash Slave. Okay, so this is a dreamer. Dead adventure, he's got a decent axe. Drow equipment, Dwemer equipment, you got some good stuff on you, lady. I need to increase or improve my equipment somewhat. Okay, this place is pretty big. Now I know to shoot first, ask questions later. Got it. So again, if you want to be super sneaky, you need to take off your boots. But... Marowak Spine, that's a Pokemon. Stop making Pokemon names. Okay, but there's other places to go other than Marowak. People who make these modded areas really like Pokemon. But there's something down there, but I do not want to go down. I do not want to go to there. Oh my god. It's a lot of places. Okay. Can I continue on to the tainted marrow? This area is much larger than I was expecting, so I'm going to have a bit of a longer video, probably, but that's fine. Cave texture is fucking with my head for some reason. I don't know why, but the rocks are making me dizzy. Dead night. Okay, doesn't have a lot of good stuff on him. Okay, 
Okay, so I guess it wants me to go this way. I'm having trouble seeing through all of the water. back in the day when I couldn't uh, cast these spells reliably, it wasn't that a fun time. Am I even going anywhere that I'm supposed to be going, or am I just kind of wandering around? Oh, a Dro shield. A lot of Dro equipment, which is worth a lot of money. This is very much worth going out of my way for. Um, do I want to start using some medium armor? Like, I'm getting medium level ups from this. My medium armor currently isn't very good. Uh, my worst piece of light armor is this one, this green bug. So I could wear this. It's worse currently. But if I start leveling my medium armor up, it'll be better. I don't think I need to do that. I think sticking with light armor is fine. No need to diversify to that degree. Excuse me, there's just people fucking walking around under the water. My fatigue ain't looking so hot. I think I should chug a restore fatigue potion. did do a lot of damage. Um, I take another Restore Fatigue Potion? Oh my god, this place is huge. Or not Restore Fatigue, but I take a Restore Health Potion. I think it's been so soon after I took the Fatigue Potion that it sucks. Why is this not underwater anymore? Hello? This looks like where I'm supposed to be going. There's chains. Maybe not. Yeah, there's people walking around. Is this supposed to be underwater? Is this like a bug? possible that something's gone wrong in replacing this area with um, the new one and that some of it's underwater where it's not supposed to be. I suppose that's possible. No, <clears throat> A dream
Dreamer has awoken. Uh, six house stuff is not very good. Um, looks kind of cool. But I'm not going to take any of it. Oh. I didn't see you there. there is no I need to chug another Restore Fatigue Potion because I'm not hitting shit. There is no escape. have died and I would like to pick up my reward of this glass staff and some yeah this doesn't look like it's supposed to be underwater I'm thinking that something's gone wrong with the uh, the modded area Human flesh. I love human flesh. I'm gonna make a potion out of that. So this is going to be a lot harder than it should be, probably, since everything appears to be underwater. your fatigue lowers a lot just by being in the water and swimming around. The dreamer is awake. of very valuable stuff in here. So this is a very profitable endeavor at the very least. six house bell hammers for a quest later so I'm gonna pick it up even though it's very heavy more fatigue it's a good thing I made a whole lot of restore fatigue potions Helmet of Faith. I'm going to 
to take that because it looks unique. Um, I'm not going to wear it because it's heavy and also drains my personality. But... Could be cool if I was making a character that didn't give a shit about what people think about me. And I really need to level my restoration more. start needing to pay more attention to what I'm keeping in my inventory because everything is so fucking heavy. In fact, let me... I don't think I want... I care about these spears. This item will not fit. Okay. Just throw them on the ground. is supposed to be underwater, so... We get a fun uh, bonus difficulty dungeon. It's unfortunate because this place looks really cool and it would probably be even cooler if it was the way it was supposed to be and not in an underwater cavern. Okay, do I have any magic potions? The fact that all these people have drowned uh, makes me think I'm right about the fact that this place isn't supposed to be underwater. It doesn't do anything useful. It is an alchemy ingredient that I can use to level up, but it's too heavy. Should be taking these throwing knives. House amulets are worth a ton. I'm gonna need to eventually like liquidate my loot. I've got a lot of loot. But I haven't been selling any of it because I haven't needed the money yet. Dagoth brandy, since that stuff's also pretty expensive.
actually, let me just take this one since I'm low on health too. This is my fancy restore health and f restore fatigue potion. It's a two for one special. But yeah, me being low on magicka is going to be a problem unless soul slumber is not underwater. Soul Slumber. I'm going to hope that that area isn't underwater. And if it is, that's gonna be a problem. Wait, Drowned Corpse. So this is supposed to be underwater. I, I guess? Why are people walking underwater then? I don't understand. Flash give fortify health. Riddle me this, Batman. I had a divine intervention scroll on him. Why didn't he just escape? Is he stupid? Okay, I'm going to go into this cave and hope that it is not underwater. It isn't. Uh, I'm going to need to double up on potion effects now. My frame rate, it's very chonky. This dungeon is a hell of a hell of a place. explore this dungeon, by the way, just because it's so frustrating. I'm going to explore everything that I find. Jeez, this guy hits pretty fucking hard. I'll restore it, or I will explore everything that I find along the way, but if I reach the end of the dungeon and I still have, like, stuff to do, like, I didn't explore most of, uh, Marowak Hall or whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Holy shit. It did a little bit of damage. Is this going to be enough to heal me at all? Okay, don't let this guy hit you with fireballs. That's very bad. I said not to let that happen. Can I 
thankfully the toxicity doesn't seem to be kicking in yet, which is strange. I don't quite understand how that mod works. The uh, toxicity mod. before. I should quick save because I haven't saved while I'm in here and if I have to go through this dungeon again I think I'm gonna die. Is there anything cool in here? I was kind of looking at it. What the fuck? Chitin, Dwemer boots, too heavy. is hurting my eyes. The frame rate, the pustulating like flesh walls, it's not doing so hot in here. I need to use my bow more. Um, it's so much better to be like being able to dodge attacks. Just sitting there and taking it. I'll use my dagger against like easier things so that I can level my armors too. But for things that look like they could probably kill me, I should switch to the bow. guy does some damage. We heal up. Vile creature, the saint's soul. Journal has been updated. Found an odd gem within the corpse of a vile creature made of flesh. I wonder if someone within Illinibi might be missing it. That's interesting. But I've been playing this for much longer than I was wanting to. What the hell? I'm in the flesh pool? I don't like this area. God, it just keeps going. This dungeon is 20 years long. If this doesn't look like the end, I think I need to stop halfway through this dungeon. If I don't immediately find Dagoth Gareth, I'm gonna call it. Here, enemies are nearby. Okay, this place looks large. Yeah, okay. 
I'm going to call it for today, and then tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, I'm going to be back in here doing some stuff, fighting the sixth house in this flesh dungeon. Yeah, it should be great. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.